this is a, a very big idea. How big could this be? And he said, well, how big is the U.S. monetary base? Well, today it's $8 trillion. $8 trillion. I've been waiting for this for my entire career. You take away the boundaries, the different currencies, just think about how explosive growth could be and how wide reaching taking the friction out of the system could be. But I'm also looking at the convergence between blockchain technology and artificial intelligence to uh, change the world in ways that we cannot imagine right now. Autonomous taxi networks. That combines uh, the, or is the convergence of three platforms. Robotics, autonomous vehicles, are uh, energy storage, they will be electric. That's going to be uh, the most cost-effective form of transportation. And artificial intelligence. These autonomous vehicles will be powered by artificial intelligence. We think this will be uh, a, a seven trillion dollar revenue opportunity in 10 years, uh, wow. which is bigger than the energy industry is today, even after this latest price increase. So a huge amount of potential in that space, which is valued at almost nothing right now. I think the real impetus for my focus on innovation in the investment world was when I joined uh, Jenison Associates, I, I, was, uh, I, I was focused on economics, uh, but really wanted to get into the research world. And uh, Sig Sigalis, the chief investment officer there still, this was in the early 80s, uh, he gave me that opportunity, but I had to find my own universe uh, because uh, the analysts at Jenison were lifers and they were not going to give up their stocks. And so what that gave me a great opportunity to do is when a stock fell through the cracks, and that, that's an important phrase, when a stock fell through the cracks, meaning database publishing with Reuters and Tellerate, it wasn't a database company, it wasn't a publishing company. So those analysts did not want that stock. And I said, I'll take that and uh, what was that? That was the precursor of the internet. And so I naturally, uh, same thing with cellular uh, technology in the 80s. Uh, uh, not much interest in it, especially not internationally. Uh, and so I raised my hand there as well. And of course, we know what has happened in, uh, in the wireless industry. So this idea of falling through cracks uh, was the earliest manifestation of what we're seeing now um, uh, turbocharged, and that's the convergence between and among technologies that is creating one S curve, curve feeding another, feeding another, and an explosion in innovation. We want our companies to be investing aggressively right now and to forego short-term profits in order to capitalize on some of these winner take most opportunities. And we think autonomous taxi networks will submit to natural geographic monopolies. And so uh, the, those who invest the most aggressively now in artificial intelligence, data collection, robotics expertise, uh, software as a service expertise, uh, and of course, battery technology are going to be the winners. Uh, we think Tesla is the winner in, in the United States. That's our bet. Uh, we are taking a close look at cruise automation, which GM owns, uh, Waymo, Google, and so forth. Uh, from what we can see, what we can discern, uh, we think that, that Tesla is still in the, the pole position. Autonomous taxi networks. Uh, that combines uh, the, or is the convergence of three platforms, robotics, autonomous vehicles, are ro uh, energy storage, they will be electric, that's going to be uh, uh, the, the most cost effective uh, form of transportation, and artificial intelligence, these autonomous vehicles will be powered by artificial intelligence. We think this will be uh, a, a $7 trillion revenue opportunity in 10 years, 
uh, wow. which is bigger than the uh, than the energy industry is today, even after this latest price increase. So a uh, huge amount of, uh, uh, of um, potential in that space, which is valued at almost nothing right now. We're, we're focused on picking the winners in each of the platforms, but the aha moments uh, that come out, especially of our brainstorming session every Friday. So we spend two hours brainstorming uh, with all of our analysts and, and what we call theme developers who are uh, uh, who, who come in and join that discussion. They have uh, areas of expertise, but usually they're from colleges or venture capital teams or, or they're entrepreneurs who are trying to push the frontiers of knowledge forward as fast as, as possible. So the real aha moments can occur there when we're all, all together. Just to give you a, an Please. example, it has been very interesting in the genomic space, which is another area of massive convergence. We think, uh, so uh, we have the five platforms, but there are 14 technologies involved yeah. in those five platforms, all of which are moving into exponential growth trajectories. So it's been fascinating to watch our analysts in uh, the genomic space, an expert in uh, DNA sequencing, for example, interact with our artificial intelligence analysts uh, who's expert in neural networks uh, which are patterned after the brain so to watch them uh, interact uh, really does surface some very interesting and exciting aha moments i think many many people as we went into the coronavirus and we're coming out of it uh, we're very surprised to learn that online retail in the united states was less than 15% of total retail sale. Because it seemed, I mean, we're getting boxes every day. I mean, I, I don't go to stores anymore. The coronavirus uh, bumped that up to about 20% in the United States. I believe electric vehicles uh, sales globally were up 33% in a year that gas powered sales vehicle sales were down 10%. So that shift is taking place. And uh, ironically, I never thought COVID would cause this, but as people decided they wanted to avoid mass transit and needed another car, which we don't think is going to last as, as a phenomenon, but as that happened, the shift towards electric accelerated, especially in China, which is offering subsidies. So the, the, the escape velocity uh, in electric vehicles seems to have been forced earlier than normally would be the case by yeah. the coronavirus and by subsidies in China. We want our companies to be investing aggressively right now and to forego short-term profits. We think this will be uh, a, a seven trillion dollar revenue opportunity in 10 years, uh, wow. which is bigger than the uh, than the energy industry is today.